This episode of Speakers of Heidelin is made possible by our generous patrons. Special thanks to our supreme and master speakers, Omage Cat Comet, Erisu Yamakawa, Alex Franco AV, Weinbow Brood, Aurora Templeton, Psyche, Azuta Starbreeze, Cletus Oreo, Nina Grimstar, Lily Black, Bob CC, Mikta Rabentau, Anathus Moonscar, Pamela Isley, Elenreal Maximus, Code Ruth Novelist, Mira Miri, Celestau Nautrell, Lazy Boy, Luke Osborne, Pandalu Stormarrow, Tex, Kai Lin, Arthur Law, Buried Anderard, Cypup, Spencer Christmas, Celine Deloon, Edwin, Wubsta Wolf, Severa, Zirka Barakil, Kazran, Ventos T, uh, Ryark Forbear, Late in the House, Tony, Arcadia Lunashine, Framboise Zachero, Bergy, Fudge, Zephiel, Cafe, and Gregorium Cartus. Get early access to audio and video versions of the show, including the post show, by supporting us at patreon.com slash speakersxiv. Thank you. This is Speakers of Highland. Welcome to Speakers of Heidelin, episode 411. I'm Lakeel Bravestone, and I'm joined today by Georgi Wiston, Mela Vanadar, and Rollo Des. Hello. 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 Um, running at reduced capacity today. Uh, Georgi's not uh, here. We'll uh, a teaser for the post. Yes, I am. Yeah, well, you're I here, am here. But not visibly. <laughs> For our our, our okay. visual our viewers, you don't see Georgi. He's already forgotten that you're yeah. here. These guys are like a death door. Yeah, this is it's pretty rough right now. It is pretty rough. Just pull the plug we'll already. For it. Uh, stay tuned for the post show if you want to hear more about that. Uh, right, it's July twentieth, twenty twenty four. Great start, and it is episode four hundred and eleven. Today we're going to talk about um, the new raids. Uh -huh. Arcadion uh, and um, a forum post that uh, I'm sure will be fun oh, to no. dissect. Uh -huh. More um, forum posts. Yeah. Uh, also, we'll read patch 7.01. Wait, we'll read the patch notes for set patch 7.01, the first uh, patch of the expansion. So uh, that too. Stay tuned for Mog... Well, no, stop, don't stay tuned. We'll also be reading Mogmail uh, as well. Whatever we can get through. Speakersxiv.com slash Mogmail. Uh, uh, like I said, stay tuned for the post show. I'll be answering questions from the syndicate uh, and uh, the mystery of Georgi missing uh, and the reduced capacity of the show uh, mm -hmm. will be revealed there. So... Um, Okay, uh, probably no Titanic. I'll say that there'll be no Titanic. Oh, I'm not even. No. no, I'm not I'll, even I'll, gonna coordinate it. I'll show off my new puppy there That's, too. There you oh, go. There you go. He gives a reward to stick around for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. at least there's one positive. Yeah, he will bite my face on stream. You'll see it. Oh. Mm. Now that's content. Watch Mojo top. Everyone's really gonna get rabies. Yeah, oh. that's what you're gonna get. Wow. Yes. Oh. Uh, love it. Mela will be the down. last man standing. On this yeah, right. in this podcast, mm. um, uh, channel updates. I have to say this because I keep forgetting. There is a sale on our store, not on our yeah, on our store, not on our store. What am I saying? Twenty percent off Heat Wave Twenty. That's the, you put that in at checkout. And you get twenty percent <laughs> off. Twenty percent off. This isn't Heat not even Heat Wave Twenty. I didn't make this. Is like they did this. They it's did hot. This. So, right now, and yeah. if you 20, wear 20. any of our merch, especially my one, everyone <laughs> will think you're twenty percent sexier than normal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, when you're in that thirty degrees Celsius heat, you know, I think the comfort of a speaker shirt will get you through the day. That's right. As the EMTs come to get you for uh, heat stroke. <laughs> yeah, hundred yes. percent. Uh, the sale is on until July twenty sixth. So uh, do it before then, uh, and you can get twenty percent off your whole order. All right. Uh, that's it. Let's uh, move on. It's time for uh, the segment that comes at the start of the show. Uh, recent events. That's it. Uh, 
Uh, we'll start off with something that we experienced live. There was a very, <laughs> very violent DDoS attack on July 15th, um, which uh, ended with, resulted in um, chaos becoming completely shut down. Mm -hmm. um, and it was shut down for hours. I would, yeah. well, maybe an hour. Ruined our stream. We had to go to Crystal. Yes. And then the awesome. login servers for Light went down when Chaos came back up. So it was pretty dramatic. Um, mm -hmm. That's bad. Yeah. That's, that was, that's real bad. Yeah. It's pretty, yeah. Pretty, pretty not great. Yeah. Um, so they uh, also, like, the EU lodestone went down. Like, everything went into maintenance mode. So it was very, it was kind of scary. And there was, like, for a while, there was no, no word from Square Enix. It was just mm -hmm. quiet. Um, but yeah, they did. They did confirm that uh, it started at 11:40 a.m. PDT, so does match up with our stream time, I think. Um, mm -hmm. uh, players may experience the following issues: disconnections from EU data center worlds, difficulty logging into EU data center worlds, difficulty accessing, sending, and receiving data from the EU data centers. So that was uh, the whole uh, EU um, DC DCing. Uh, yeah. It's rough. Still but doing it, it, huh? Seems to be um, it, a little better now. There, there weren't that many DDoS attacks during. No, launch. this is the first one that's got through. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, remember when Yoshi P was like, "We were unbeatable this time." We yeah. yeah. Uh, impenetrable defenses. defenses. Like, don't say that. You. Yeah, you shouldn't better. attempt it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you uh, were, but now you're not anymore. Yeah. Um, and we, I mean, we ended up, Mail and I had to go to Balmung. Yeah, it was horrible. Ooh. Yeah. You didn't uh, have to go to Balmung. You chose to go to Balmung. Well, our characters are on well, Balmung. We do have characters on Balmung, yeah. Could you, um, have, like, gotten on Dynamis? Like, would it let you, um, you don't think, over No, because you couldn't even... No, we couldn't access our characters. No. Oh, I would all, okay. It was wow. wild. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, unfortunately, still a thing that's going on. Uh, okay, moving on. Uh, the Gongcha oh, um, Final Fantasy XIV collab starts July 17th. There is a correction here that we need to bring uh, forth as well. Um, but yeah, uh, on the 17th, uh, the Gongcha uh, campaign started for most regions. Um, so there are three collaboration drinks. Sorry, hold on. Let me just read this again. This is a refresher for those that don't remember. Uh, during the promotion uh, period... Huh? During the promotion period, fans can enjoy a range of three Final Fantasy XIV inspired teas and a chance to earn special rewards, including the adorable Porksy King Mount. Uh, purchase at least three teas in a single transaction at a participating Gongcha store to receive a unique code to claim your Porksy King Mount. Porksy King Mount. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard conflicting things about which drinks you have to buy. Like, I've heard some people say that you have to buy three of the collaboration drinks, and some people saying you can buy three of any drinks that they have. Yeah. yeah I don't know if they necessarily time. know. From people who have worked there, I've seen posts where they say it's just any three drinks. That's yeah. what I would have thought. But it has yeah. to be, I think, medium, is what they said. Oh, yeah. okay. Three, three medium. Make sure to three. confirm when you're ordering. Say, will I get the porksy mount? Yeah. I, for this, please. I, Am I going to get what? the porksy I'll, mount? <laughs> I'll tell you. I went to, because the only gancha near me is near the university, like the university um, area. And I just, something about like a 30 year old man pulling up to the <laughs> parking lot in this fucking 2005 car, going up to the counter and be like, do you, you have the Final Fantasy promotion <laughs> And the so kid the cashier just going like, what? Oh. <laughs> like, just, Never mind. And then I'm you just walk go. out. Yeah, that's what I did. Oh, just, you, should have brought up your, yeah. you should have brought up your phone and said, do you have this? You yes. Have this? You, you have the keychain? <laughs> I want the keychain. It's for the video game I play. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, they should have a sign on the counter or something to say we're doing the collab or something. Yeah, I don't know. It's awkward because it, sh it it it's not every gongcha. No, it's well, participating. Is, it's participating one. So the gongcha near me isn't even listed on the website at all as a location. Oh, but it okay, is it's an off-grid gongcha. Like if you go to the store locator, it doesn't say there's anything near me. <laughs> but if you just go on Google Maps. It is there. There is a gongcha there at the uh -huh. university. 
I, I have to say this. Apologies. Discord has been like this for a couple of days now. Oh, um, yeah. Connection issues abound. So we're yeah, going to have that. I'm sorry. Just, for it. Not really much we can do. Everything's going wrong. Um, so, yeah, sorry. Uh, three collaboration drinks inspired by Final Fantasy XIV characters will be available during the promotion period. In addition, limited edition collaboration cups featuring the characters will also be available while supplies last. So there's from left to right... Um, fat Cat Brown Sugar Milk Tea, uh, Fat Chocobo Mango Frozen Tea, and Cactuar mm. Matcha Milk Tea. So, here you go. That sounds only... very lovely. The only one I want there is the Fat Cat one. I don't like tapioca pearls, and that's what's in the Mango Frozen Tea, unfortunately. Mmm, I see. Um, so also I there's the keychain. I'm not the tea person at all. This yeah. kind of weird. I'm sorry I didn't include a picture of the... <sighs> Of the the keychains key are cute. They're little. I would little actually drinks. get the keychain over the mounts. I think. Yeah, they're very cute. That's. I fair. mean, I like them. Yeah. Do you get um? There are, is that one keychain with the three drinks like in there like stuck together. Uh, I think. I, I think it's one keychain. Yeah, it's like a or special one keychain. Mount per... Yeah, but it's like the keychain on there. That picture is one. Oh well, yeah, you're it's right. Not three different keychains, is it? It's, yeah, one keys and lost it together. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because you're having oh. to buy three drinks for each, so six drinks if you want both, which is insane. Why is the f it's a choice? Why is of the one fat like cat forty pounds? Why is the fat cat drink for the keychain a different color? Why is it a taro flavored um, keychain, yeah. but not not for the collaboration? Yeah, it's nice and purple. Uh, it's just promotional material, I guess. They didn't get a if changed later in development or something. I don't know. Keychain right, designs crazy. and requirements may vary, vary by region. Oh. Ask in store. Oh, for okay. Details. So they are separate keychains, according yeah. to chat. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so hang on. So no, Rollo now needs to go and buy like $160 worth of tea if he wants all three keychains yes. pounds them out. Which uh, I would <laughs> not what do. If, what? Especially no, you, after you how that went when I went to go ask for it. Do you have the keychain? Do you have the I, I play Final Fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, if you don't get it, it's not like the coolest mount ever. But you know, if you can get it, it's you know unique at least. Yeah. Yeah. I wish it was a different company for promotion, or if it was at least different per country or something. I don't. I feel like Gonch is a little bit too rare here in the states. But... Well, it's, it's super a... common here and in Southeast Asia in general. Um, well, Asia in general. But uh, sadly, it doesn't work. They didn't organize to have it with the Southeast Asian gongshas, despite the fact that there being way more of them there than they are in America or mm. the or mm. Europe. Yeah, there's no first soul support though for Southeast Asia, is there? Aside from no. the Korean. Um, well, that's not Southeast Asia. Never mind. Well, um, there's something we have to mention here, and that is, uh, and this is very strange, very Square Enix, um, d uh, with the messaging, I mean. So this this was set to start July 17th, and has started. Um, on July 19th, Final Fantasy XIV announced, we are very sorry to announce that due to a delay in delivery of stock at a number of Gongcha stores, the campaign start date for participating stores in France, Belgium, and Portugal have been moved to Wednesday, August 14th. August? We thank you for your patience and understanding. Two days after Issues. the event supposedly started, mm. by the way. So that's Everyone's there. I've already spent, you know, 30 euros on three drinks, and I'm yeah. like, oh, no, we don't have any coats. That's crazy, dog. You yeah. can throw it Amazon. back in their face at that point, I think. Mm -hmm. Just just make it an Amazon promotion again in the States. It's just... Thing, uh, well, that's the thing, yeah. But they, they do say that the amount may be um, possible to obtain via other means in the future, mm. so it could be a Twitch thing or something. I, yeah, Chat, I, I wouldn't Chat, be surprised if it is. Chad is saying that they're still distributing the codes in those in France, Belgium, and Portugal. They just don't have the cups or the keychains. Can... Can we confirm? I mean, that's for France. We can't confirm for Belgium. Just for France, at least, yeah. We don't mm. know. That's anecdotal from one chatter. Anecdotal from a French person. So do not take that as advice to run to your nearest gongcha to try to see if you can get one. Always ask before purchasing yes. bubble tea. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, just... there's like none in California. I didn't realize that. There's you none can also... 
Yeah, the chat's correct. You can also call ahead or do what my friend does and message them on their official Instagram account. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Just Harass them and make them tell you before you go there. Yeah, I've, I've embarrassed myself too much. I can't <laughs> follow up with this at all. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, sorry, France, Belgium, and Portugal. You're gonna have to wait until August. Gives you more time to prepare, I suppose. Um, That's true. Okay. Uh, moving on. We're gonna talk about patch seven point zero one, but let's talk about the issues that uh, have been acknowledged after that patch was implemented. Uh, I think it's kind of funny. Um, we have identified the issue below. This issue is being investigated and addressed, and additional information will follow as the situation develops. Current known issue. After summoning a retainer, the number of gill slash items owned by the retainer shown in the menus, entrust or withdraw items, and entrust or withdraw gill, is displayed incorrectly. So, mm. from what I understand, it shows zero, no matter what? Mm, it does. So it shows nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's but that's I mean. only yeah the text in the the like the initial menu. It right? Is... When you go in, it does show you how much gill you have. Yes, it's, so just, it's just part of this new thing that they're working on, which I appreciate. Yeah, because you don't know if you've got anything until you have to click. I want on the retainer thing when you click the bell. Uh, refresh all retainers button or something where it will go through and check if they have gill. I just wish it did that the moment you mm. open the menu. So well, it was yeah, there I mean, I would when love you open yeah. the menu. I mean, that would be ideal, but I, I'm beyond hoping for that. But you, you know Crazy the spaghetti. That it's not already like that. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. It's I want such just a small thing. some way of checking them all. Yeah. It would be great. Um, so, for patch 7.1, we're working on displaying the number of gill slash items possessed by the retainer in the menu appearing after summoning said retainer. However, we have confirmed that the text for patch 7.1 has been included in the data for patch 7.01. The numbers are displayed incorrectly since there is no system to reference the number of gill slash items possessed by the retainer. We will remove the data that was mixed up during patch 7.05 and implement it correctly in patch 7.1. So there you have it. Thanks. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. It sounds like an easy mistake to make. Yeah. Yes. Um, I thought that was already a thing. Like when you summon a retainer now, because, okay, I need to visualize. No, it doesn't. It will just say interest or withdraw gill, and then you'll click on it and it will say, then it will say. The thing they've added is that little bracket thing where it's like current gill zero. That's new. Oh, like in that menu, because when you in the yeah, not the initial menu, because when you summon it, it should show gill. Yeah. But it doesn't refresh that. You have to click on the retainer to refresh that. Mm -hmm. But then obviously, you then have to click on gill again to see how much they have. And by that point, you've probably withdrawn it, unless you then go back and then you see that they've got. I see. Yeah. I see. I see. I see. Oh, that's it's not very not a great system. No. Okay. Um. Oy. Um. Let's uh, go in through the let's go through the patch notes then because seven point awesome. zero one the first patch of the expansion it's a point zero one patch so not Isn't super exciting um, so let's see here well, Hi. unless you're a monk unless you're a monk in which you should pay attention shout out is it to exciting for them they're just going back to how they were before the expansion launch <laughs> no. It's Monks the most exciting like thing here. Well, let's yeah. just say that. Um, okay, so uh, Chronicles of a New Era, we'll talk about this in a bit. So exactly. uh, we don't mm -hmm. need to go through that. Uh, new Orchestral Rolls, new Triple Triad cards. Mm -hmm. Cool. All from the raid. I yeah. Think. Uh, actions and traits have been adjusted as follows. Each action and trait is listed as it appears at level 100. For further explanation mm -hmm. of actions, changes, and adjustments, please refer to the job guide. Remember, the job guide exists, gets updated. Very right, like immediately. Uh, pretty it's much. very good. Yeah, it's very useful if you don't. If you want a, a quick rundown on some uh, rotations or skills. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so for gladiator and paladin, total eclipse uh, and prominence uh, has the had an additional effect. Increased AOE. enmity has been added. So there you go. This That's is your the, AOE you'll see enmity this a lot, but increase. Yes. They said they were because. Because of Pictomancer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just because of Pictomancer. Yeah. It's fine, though. Uh, for Marauder, uh, or Warrior, uh, Overpower and Mithril Tempest has had the same uh, treatment. Uh -huh. Increased Amnity. 
Uh, also, primal rend has had its effect duration. Sorry, the effect duration of primal rend ready has been reduced from 30 to 20 seconds. So no first nerf for warrior. Yeah, it's over, guys. It's this over. Job's dead. Might as well stop I mean, playing. The next it. one's pretty good though. Yeah, for uh, yeah uh, to balance the scales. It's uh, just the primal, primal rend ready though, so it's just to use the skill. You have to use it quicker. The effect duration. Yes, that's right. Primal rend ready. It's primal rend ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Primal rend is uh, not nerfing anything with the, the leap. For primal ruination, potency has been increased from 740 to 780. So We're so back. We're back. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> What's the enmity? Uh, that's the level 100. Yes, right. Still. For Dark Knight, Unleash, Stalwart Soul, and Shadow Stride has had the increased enmity uh, effect added. So again... More enmity, nothing mm -hmm. else. And the same goes for Gunbreaker's Demon Slice, Demon Slaughter, and Trajectory. Increased mm -hmm. enmity. It's just their AoEs. And I think that's the, those are the new dashes, too? It's the dashes, yeah. 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 They yeah, realized yeah. that they needed enmity on them, not just the nothing. gap closing. <laughs> right. <laughs> and just absolutely nothing. <laughs> no, it's it's still funny. It's like, have we had like a damageless en entity skill in a while? Flash. Oh, Flash. In a yeah, oh, yeah, in a while. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, like it's, <laughs> how long has it been? Mm. Flash is back. Yeah. Bring back. provoke as well. Bring back the oh, AOE yeah. provoke. Mm. <laughs> Ultimatum. I, yeah. I, I agree. Loved loved it. Yeah. I really loved it. I mean, yeah. it was just an extra provoke, essentially. Yeah, exactly. Which is great. Yeah. It was really yeah. useful. Uh, okay, so uh, for Monk. Okay, lots has changed here, but most of it's, it's potency meaningless to me. across the board. Um, <laughs> True Strike's potency has been increased from 290 to 300. Raptor's Fury potency has been increased from 440 to 500. Snap Punch, Nerf, potency has been reduced from 300 to 270. Flank potency has been reduced from 360 to 330. Coral's Fury potency has been increased from 400 to 420. <laughs> Flank uh, Curl's Fury potency has been increased from 460 to 480. Uh, Twin Snakes potency has been increased from 380 to 420. <laughs> Increased potency effect of Raptor's Fury has been changed from <laughs> 150 to 200. Um, Arm of the Destroyer potency has been increased from 100 to 110. Opa Opo Forum potency has been increased from 110 to 120. Uh, Demolish potency has been increased from 340 to 360. Rear potency has been increased from 400 to 420. Increased potency effect of Curl's Fury has been changed from 100 to 150. Oh boy, there's so much. Rock Breaker's potency. Yeah, I know. I was surprised um, that you decided yeah. to read all of them. Yeah, yeah, uh, but yeah, at, yeah. at some I point, mean, it turned into like you were reading stocks or something. Yeah, I feel like I'm doing that. I'm do. I'm. I, it's a service, Gyorgy. Like the yeah. monks are sitting there, you know, with the radio yeah. on. They're like listening, taking notes. Yeah. My dragon kick. Yeah. Self flinch strike. <laughs> <laughs> Rock Breaker, 130 to 150. Four point fury, 120 to 140. Uh, dragon kick. Stacks of Opa Opo's fury are now only granted while in Opa Opo form. Uh, tornado kick potency 850 to 1200. Oh, buy that. No, sell it. Sell tornado. That's, that's <laughs> a big tornado. Thing. It's all <laughs> number go up. <laughs> so yes. chill revolution potency increase from 450 to 600. Flint strike potency increase 600 to 800. Enlightenment potency increase 170 to 200. Shadow of the destroyer increase 110 to 120. Rising Raptor, potency increase 330 to 340. Raptor's Fury potency has been increased from 480 to 540. Huh. Um, uh, pouncing, <laughs> <What>? curl, <laughs> <just>. <laughs> pouncing Curl. Pouncing uh, Curl. Potency has been reduced from 340 to 310. Flank potency has been reduced from 400 to 370. Curl's Fury potency has been increased from 440 to 460. Flank Curl's Fury potency has been increased from 500 to 520. Oh, well, I don't know what that, that is overall. I don't. Can you do a follow-up with an interpretation of what this means? Well, what mm. I've read is just that most of the monks are saying it's taking them back to, like, 6.55. Are they happy in 6.55? Yeah, it's I hard don't to know. keep track. No. Uh, no number go up and down. Yeah. Conflicting? I think the more numbers went up, though. So. More numbers went up, for sure. And some yeah. of them went up significantly. So mm. We're back? We're, Maybe? I think monks are back. Sound looks like a band aid patch for monks. Yeah. Um, Something to tide you over for two years. Samurai. 
Oh, here we go. I leave that. Okay. That's not even one of the hard ones. Tendo oh, you want? Setsugeka. Okay. There you go. Recast time has been reduced from 3.2 to 2.5 seconds. To uh, what? Tendo Kaishi Setsugeka. Yeah. Recast time has been reduced from 3.2 to 2.5 seconds. Another Next word sure. back for Samurai. Um, nice. For a Viper, um, oh, range all increases to same. all of these uh, following skills have been... Okay, so the a range has been increased. Don't, about this. don't even say, Lukiel. I'll just tell you it's for the burst rotation. It's for the Enshroud. Okay. You have farther reach. From three service. to five... I'm providing a service. <laughs> From three <laughs> to five Yalms, the following. Death Rattle, Twin Fang Bite, Twin Blood Bite, First Legacy, Second Legacy, Third Legacy, and Fourth Legacy. So, a lot yeah. of people are upset about this because... Vi like you could you know you you more more ranged than before, but like there are classes like Dragoon, which you'd think in law would have a long range, yeah, a long yeah. reach, but they don't. So it's it's weird. Well, it's I the don't same thing with like, um, I think Dark Knight. No, no, not Dark Knight. Gunbreaker had a similar thing too, where they got increased range, uh, for their kind of burst like um, uh, skills, hmm. just because it's. There's a lot that happens all together really quickly. So That's it's true. really it's really easy to get like interrupted for just like a split second and then all of a sudden you clip your GCD and you're fucked. You know, That's you're not true. fucked, but you know, it feels bad. Yeah. So yeah, this I mean it's nice. It's fine. I mean it does, you know, it helps them out. Mm. But yeah, Viper changes weren't bad. I mean they, we'll see you seven point one, but I, this is what I expected pretty much for this pass. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for Black Mage, uh, Umbral Soul is now acquired at level 35, which was previously level 76. So that's... So it's what we expected last yeah. time around. Yeah. It's, it's kind a great of, uh, change. Mm -hmm. It's a great change. We're kind of... You know... Mm. The Umbral Soul was a a pretty unique experience and you know, when you were doing Shadow Rings to get that to keep you going. Yeah. Now you get nothing from like level... <laughs> well, like 72 to 78. That's probably fuck all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh well. Um, for uh, for red mage, magnification's effect duration uh, has been increased from fifteen to thirty seconds. Again, this is good because as it time. as it is right as it was, um, you had to essentially fit six skills into that window. So this gives you a much larger mm -hmm. amount of time to mm -hmm. do it. At least much better. Mm -hmm. um, for astrologian. Uh, Light speed now a char is now a, uh, light speed is now That's a charge good. action with a maximum of two charges and the recast That's time really is reduced good. from ninety to sixty seconds. This is huge. This um, is insane. Yeah. yeah, this is oh, really good. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, you, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's that's so much saved cast time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like yeah. I, why would you ever play white mage? I'm sorry. <laughs> like oh. We f I felt so they, good, and the, uh, at the start of the suspension, you? feel bad now. Feel bad now. I, I like. I'm sorry. The region healers, um, like uh, astrologian, is is the winner. Mm -hmm. This expansion so far, at least. We'll yeah. see how that goes. But yeah, this that's a lot of uptime for light speed. Mm -hmm. um, Don't you worry. You can do all your. You do your. Medicus. I'm going on strike now, guys. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Just another episode where I bring up the strike. I'll never stop. Uh, Astral Draw. Recast time has been reduced from 60 to 55 seconds. Don't like that. Why? Um, I don't like seeing a five second recast. Yeah. It's weird. I know it's it's good. It's good. You know, but it's it's, it's uncomfortable to see that number mm, in the yeah. recast. Point. Yeah. Umbral Draw. 60 to, 60 to 55 again. Uh, and Macro Cosmos. Potency has been increased from 250 to 270. Congrats, Astrologians. Nice little... Little thing to keep you going. Good job. Yeah, I mean, however you feel about the cards, as far as like just ability, like to do good numbers, astrology is insane right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. compared to white mage at the region healers. Okay. Best start gearing up your astrology probably in two weeks. <laughs> Yeah. Trading your cane for you some want me cards. To, you want me to play Astrologian? Oh, boy. Yeah, you play Astrologian. Uh, play I'd Sage. love to see him juggle some Why cards. would I play Sage when Scholar is by far the best healer in the game? 
All right, all right. All right, humble brag. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, hum, the following adjustments have been made to Raptor's Fury and Curl's Fury. Maximum stacks of Raptor's Fury has been reduced from 2 to 1, and maximum stacks of Curl's Fury has been reduced from 3 to 1. Sorry, 3 to 2. 3 to 2. Sorry, Raptor's so, Fury, 2 to 1. Curl's Fury, 3 to 2. There you go. Why does it get its own header? I don't know what's underneath uh, the monk. Mm. Yeah, I don't know either. Why isn't this part of the changes? Because it's know. not a skill, it's a trait. Oh, it's true. I guess. And it's part of the job gauge, I guess. Well. In accordance with this change, the display of the beast chakra gauge has been adjusted. So, there you go. The new raid dun uh, thing that we will talk about in a second. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry. The following duties have been added to duty roulette normal raids. Uh, so that's the new stuff. It's been added. Uh, and also to the mentor roulette. Uh, Stone Sky yeah. Sea. New target this ring has been added. Well, under yeah. the, well, under the effect of directional disregard, enemy target rings will take on a distinct new shape. This indicates the direct, that directional requirements do not need to be met when attacking these targets. You'll see this on the last one. On yeah, this is only the during point. the last fight, during the very final section of it, where yeah. you can't turn the boss around. Right. Yeah. And it's actually like a buff or a debuff too on, on like the. the yeah, that team. I like. So you know. I was that like, they're... whoa, that's that's crazy. It's basically man. true north, but on the boss. Right. But the thing is, I would, I, I've not. I mean, I've not gone back to check, but I would imagine on older bosses, like say Shinryu, Sephiroth second stage and stuff, this will be added in. Probably because you can't I don't do know. directionals on them. You think well, no, gonna, I think because that's got a, that's got its go own back. type of circle. This is a circle that's specifically for mob for enemies that can go from ones that have positionals uh, to true. ones that don't have positionals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the past must definitely been be some other. other things that they need to pass. Yeah, but it's it's a good idea. It's nice. Yeah, uh, the new raid gear. Uh, yeah, the tits that's out fine. here. Yeah. Oh my god. Mm. I love dressing as the Undertaker from mm. fucking WWE. Yeah, it does look like the Undertaker. The... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I've seen it's I've ugly, seen some people not it. like Yeah, I I don't well yeah, it is ugly, but I like what it's going for. Yeah, it's, it's purposefully I, ugly. It, it goes That's well with the raid. Yeah. Especially especially the third fight where you get like, oh okay, there this is the gimmick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, uh, some of it's like the uh, the healer one's quite nice. Yeah. I think a lot of it's with the hoods. The hoods in this game never look good. Some of these look a bit janky. I definitely want to see the uh, how the two tone dying when the savage comes out. I'm curious how that's gonna look. Mm. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yes. I'll probably try and get the caster ones just for the eye level boost as well. But yeah, I, I really do hate these. Uh, yeah, pieces that's supposed sort of to look like, like they're the connected. Hoods? Yeah, it's, the, the, oh, it's yeah, so the good hood. though. When you look down, you see the like it just flops around. Yeah, it's, so it's, stupid. it's bad. Um, the furnishing a stone partition can now be dyed. Breaking Finally. news, everyone. Uh, you can dye the stone partition. I have my been... golden stone partition. Yeah, I don't think you can use gold dice on furniture. I don't mm, think you can use metallic that's dice. Not, don't like that. Uh, no. <laughs> Um, requirements to access the script exchange in Tulialal have been changed. Play, if you, before you had to speak with Rodina in Solution 9, but now you must complete the quest Go West, Craftsman. So there's a... Oh, that's true, yeah, you could look at the, you could look at the rewards prior to actually unlocking turn -ins, Oh, I think... Which I didn't really think about at the time, because I, I did look through them, I think. Um, they, then normally they would say, oh, this store is not open yet. Okay. But yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure you, yeah, that weird. Interesting. I didn't think about it at the time, but that is a good change. For him, that's weird. Yeah. New minions, obviously tied to the, yeah, there's a the black raid. cat minion I've seen. Yeah. In order to reduce server congestion, the area newly added in patch 7.01 will be split into multiple instances. Yeah. I noticed that in the, yeah. uh, in the single player instance, uh, you, you are, you're in the different instances. Uh, they have uh, reduced instances now. The number of field Sad. instances implemented in patch 7.0 have been changed as follows. So Tulliolal is now... Number go down! It's gone from 3 no. to 2. Urkopacha from 6 to 3. And Kozumauka from 6 uh, to 3. The train is ruined, guys. My hot trains! 
Yeah. The train, train was, was so ruined. fucking long. That was so stressful. Oh, but the... I love. I got so many nuts. That oh was yeah, I was a lot of I nuts ran it to so many times. <laughs> Very nut happy start <clears throat> to the expansion for sure. Yeah, just how I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Old Charlian will no longer be separated into multiple instances. Nice. Uh, That's cool. Yeah. New achievements have been added. Uh, cool. New uh, trophies and achievements have been added for PlayStation oh, 5 nice. and Xbox Series XS. And new music and sound effects have been added. Oh, I wish they hadn't added one new fucking track. <sighs> yes. Uh, there are a lot of resolved issues. Uh, I you know, look at the list, you know. Oh, it was wow. a oh, lot there's some of that issues. have updates and shit as well. Yeah. Crazy. There, uh, hmm. There's wish, a lot there. There's a lot. So I would, if you like this stuff, uh, go uh, read. Go read. Yeah. Uh, um. Okay. There's a pretty. That's a pretty. That's that's pretty fucked actually. An issue where when undertaking level 91, 93, 95, and ninety seven instance dungeons, where as a pal as a paladin, wherein players were awarded gear they had already obtained. Ah, uh, specific back to the yes. days. <laughs> That's very interesting. Fuck you specifically, pal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, there you go. Uh, those uh, are the the patch notes uh, for seven point zero one. Now let's. Um... Uh, the one under is quite funny too. It says an issue when undertaking level ninety five instance dungeons, where an incorrect gear was rewarded if you were a dragoon or reaper. That's funny too. <laughs> you didn't even get the right gear for your class. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Lol. Um, okay, so uh, we have uh, mog mail to read through before we move on to our discussion oh. on um... the raids. The yes, raids. boss. Yes, boss. Mog mail. Um, here we go. It's time for Mogmouth. Uh, this is from a Sony Mark from uh, Genova. Hello, speakers. I've been trying to avoid spoilers as I go through the MSQ, but I've been seeing some complaints about Dawn Trail that seem unfair. I haven't finished the MSQ at this point, and I'm around level 97, so maybe... That last part of the story will change my opinion, but I don't think it will. The first, first the complaint that I disagree with, but understand. I personally like Wuklamot, but some people don't. This expansion has a lot of Wuklamot, so I can understand that complaint. The other complaints I have been seeing is that our character isn't a big enough part of the story. I think this complaint is wrong for two reasons. First, I think we are getting the story that was promised. It always seemed to me the story of Dawn Trail was going to be us helping Wuklamot and that was going to make it so that it was always going to be Wuklamot's story more than ours. And that seems to be mostly what we have gotten. Secondly, I think we actually play a really important role in the story. Every time Wuklamot shows growth, it is almost directly after we have given her advice and guided her to see how she could improve. Without us doing that, doing that Wuklamot would have almost certainly failed the right. Her false bravado probably wouldn't have gotten everyone to team up to defeat Valigarmanda, and she wouldn't have been the confident, wouldn't have had the confidence to defeat Bakul Jaja. So it seems like without us, she would have failed. I don't really see any other of the candidates managing to succeed either, or pass Gulul Jaja's assessment at the end. So he probably dies without a clear successor. Suralja probably launches a coup, and Tulialal descends into civil war without us. So I think we do end up playing a pretty important role throughout the story good point it's true this is true for true yeah. brother right on i mean yeah i yeah i don't yeah. agree that we don't take i mean we take us we have a smaller role in the narrative i think a little bit it's yeah more, but it is uh, mm. story that we're playing exactly. through here so yeah Absolutely. i mean i mean with I, I think we said it last time but it's definitely like a mentor mentee relationship or like a more experienced grizzled I don't want to say grizzled, but the more adventure, uh, experienced adventurer, kind of like an Auron, uh, Auron and uh, Titus thing from FF10. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's a really similar relationship, and I I think it works really well. Yeah, okay. yeah, um, yeah. I mean, yeah. I I mean, there's not much we can really say about this Mogmail. I mean, we agree. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you more or less hit the nail on the head. And yeah. I the big 
yeah, you are correct in assuming that yeah, the biggest issue with people that some people might have or that might change your opinion in regarding Walk Among is towards the end. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah that's when you're most <laughs> likely to <laughs> yeah. change or keep your opinion. Yes. Yeah. The um, I this not about the Mogmail in specific, but it does kind of um, remind me or bring up a point almost is that a lot of the kind of super negative stuff you hear about Don Trail in terms of story, it's kind of one sided in a way because agree or disagree. If you have a different opinion or you want to criticize that criticism or, or you know, kind of engage in that conversation, you can't really because of spoilers, you know, you can't mm. go into any kind of depth really in those conversations, at least in like kind of online public spaces or whatever. Mm. So it's, it's weird that the people who like you can just say a complaint like, I think Wolkamot's fucking dumb. You can't say anything, or you can't, or you're like, I don't think she showed any growth in the story. Right, I, I can't true. say anything without saying going to the fucking plot and making big spoilers. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So. There you have it. I have seen the comparison that Wuklamad is very much like a shonen protagonist, and if you're not into that kind of narrative, she wouldn't necessarily resonate with you mm-hmm. in the same way as it would for other people. True. You're playing Final Fantasy. It's all anime and Japanese tropes. That's What's true. Yeah, I know that, like... but like, so, <laughs> just because you like anime and Japanese tropes doesn't mean you like all of them. Right. Well, how did you get this far, then? There's a ton of them in this fucking game. The shonen protagonist is where you draw the line? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, moving on. Um, thank you, um, Sony. Uh, next, uh, Mogmail uh, is coming to us from Honey Rider from Zervan. Uh, hey, speakers. Hope you're uh, all well and enjoying Dawn Trail. I thoroughly enjoyed it, so only positive discourse from me. I had an idea about where the next expansion may be heading, and I thought perhaps it could elicit some discussion, so... I think given that we just ventured to a new continent, that going to Maricidia straight after would be treading old ground, not against it, but it seems unlikely. Instead, we head to Ilsebard with the twins and their Garlean restoration effort, starting in Garlemald and perhaps heading east for three zones. Maybe we even get uh, get to the Blind Frost in Orth- Othard's north, as mentioned on Emmet. On Emmet. By, I'm assuming, Emmet. By Emmet. Uh, take that off the bucket list. That giant man on the map, a zone. He's gone. Oh, yeah, he's he gone. gone. He's not there anymore. A split level map. The base at its feet and a higher area like the you golem um... from the first. Big wishes, I know. But let's be real. It'd likely be the level 103 trial. <laughs> now <laughs> the other three zones would likely be a shard. We somehow find uh, find our way way to based on Yostola's research. As for what and why... I don't, didn't think that far ahead, but this way we tie the story back to Dawn Trail's themes of shards and the twins' motivations. My only reluctance for this idea is that the story may feel too split again, and some players may not like that. Thoughts? It may be a bit of a stretch, but I just want to get to Ilsebard. Sorry, I just want to get Ilsebard uncovered from clouds already. Please, all the best. I agree with Thank that. You, honey. I hate yeah. seeing it covered in clouds, but the idea that you want a zone that is... A uh, living person is crazy. Mm. That's very um, Senior Blade Chronicles. Yeah. yeah, that's wild. I I will say that fun, in Dawn Trail there has even in the base story for Dawn Trail there are, they the twins have alluded a brought up Garlemald several times. They so have. It's not impossible. I would love to explore more of that continent for sure. Yeah, yeah. I have oh, a yeah. feeling that. Actually, yeah, it's not that bad of an idea because when the pivot starts, which I hope is in three point. Three or four? Three point three. Seven point three. You mean? <laughs> Revenge. The horde is it? Was that the word? <laughs> Rise of the horde. <laughs> Seven point three. Um, maybe they'll start focusing more on their Garlean efforts uh, or something. That might happen. I can see that happening, seeing as they've already planted the seed again with the Garlean. There was stuff. lots of discussion um, pre Dawn Trail. In fact, pre Dawn Trail reveal around Corvus. Mm-hmm. And a lot mm-hmm. of us were theorizing Aaron Phil's from, uh, not no Aaron Phil, like, like we're Braha. talking about Braha's coming from Corvus, and we were going to go well, there with him. Yeah. Mm. So Corvus and you know a, a deeper Ilsebard mm-hmm. exploration definitely is on the cards, surely. Yeah. I 
I don't know if I necessarily agree with this, but a theory that I've seen some people throwing around is that when living memory appears on that shard at the very end, mm. I've seen some people argue that it's not gone back to where the shard it was from because that was destroyed. They're saying that uh, Sveen used the key to bring that part of living memory to another random shard. And mm. if that would be the case, we would have access to another shard entirely. Yeah. And True. Feels weird to just be like a random shard without like not alluding to it or something. Mm. I, don't, I don't, I don't know if I buy it. You think they would plant some sort of seed about? Well, that there yet. is more patch mm. story to come, so they might reveal more info there. Who knows? Oh, imagine if it's the first I... Gyoki and we're just patched the first again. <laughs> Where the fuck have we dropped it in the first? <laughs> the empty, the great the empty, empty is great empty. so lots much of, of room, it. Lots of lots of space. Well, uh, at least you stole her and Runar could be reunited. Mm, oh, true, that's true. true. Uh, okay. Um... Yeah, definitely a thought. I'm pretty sure it will be Maricidia, but we've said that enough times. But yeah, a thought would be but nice. Do you, but do you not agree with this Mogma, though? Like, I, I, I haven't thought about it like that, but it'll be like doing it again. You know? Oh, do... We've already done the. Like, on trail oh, yeah, it'll be yeah. that again. I think they might want to pull back a little. And they then... sh I mean, they. Cause... I want them like... to start with. The, the new sort of big arc. I, I Although this could be a standalone sort of start, I think the seeds from this should be the formation of a new big plot. Yeah. Well, so yeah, just going somewhere else again would be a bit weird. I think... In the meantime, though, I do hope Tarao in general is like center stage. I don't It'll be that want as the... much of the science. Oh, yeah. It'll be that for the, at least the first three... Uh, they have an alliance sure. with Brad's at hand now, at least, so they've... Yeah. They mm. will be part of the Raz at hand conquest of Merisidia to you know, reunite the dragons or whatever we do there. Mm -hmm. Conquest? You know what I mean. Visit. Conquest. Visit with force, because we'll have to fight everything there for some reason, because they need mobs. If we're go I can't think... help it. He's English, please. Mm. <laughs> if we're going to... I see land. <laughs> <laughs> if we're going to Ilsebard, what zones are we getting? If, if that's the expansion. Let's say the twins... Corvos this story will be a town. Pivoting. Corvos? Okay, that's a town. The okay. issue is they've got a massive pin in the middle of Ilsebard called Garlemald, and it's that's it. <laughs> well, that's the empire, mm. right? It's so, no, that would be the yeah, Garlian Empire. It's the south capital. Of the capital. The capital is Garlemald. We're never getting that because we no, already. Then, so we'll have like blind frost or blind frost, however they want it, north yeah. of that. Corvos, mm -hmm. and then there'll be what the? Oh no, there was. Um... I mean, remember, can... in we saw it once. There was that place to the south east of Wilsbard. Was that where we're? Oh, southeast. There was some. We saw something there because it was part of. Oh, we, the map that Fran uh, slapped down. It might have been part of that, but we. I'm sure they like showed it in a cutscene. Are you talking about southern is Ilsabard with Gangos something. or G Gangos? Gangos. Yeah, you just. I... Yeah, yeah, that's just what you're think remembering is just the Bosian uh, Bosia areas. Yeah, the Bosia area. I mean that that is Elsabard too. So that is, that I can see maybe yeah. going more into the um the Helios heartland, I think. I think that's the Helios Heartlands where they're mostly from, right? Yeah. It's either yeah. What what's that um, city that was destroyed? Was that just Bosia. Was that just called Bosia? Okay. I think yeah. So, yeah. I thought that was the region. Okay. The region is Bostia. called. Imagine if you want to do the expansion, you got to do all of Bosch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That'd yeah. be crazy enough. Do it. Come on, Yoshi. It is kind of crazy um... that Bosia is side content, considering it's such a huge part of the continent that's been like nuked. Like mm. it, it could have been a cool zone. That's true. But oh well. Uh, maybe yeah. they'll rebuild it or parts of it or we're gonna maybe. broken cities. I maybe. I mean, we we only saw the. Um, oh, I had it at the tip of my tongue. The city proper is has this called like the Bosia something, but like the the city citadel. Citadel. Um, you we only see it like in the distance in that one really cool sequence when we run. Do you remember that part? Like where we were like. Oh, in the memory of Sid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you see like the some floating parts of it. I yeah. Think? Yes. Yeah, and you can see like in the backdrop, you see like the nuked like city like being like oh, I the crater. That. Like the really cool like. Yeah. That was amazing. We, that was a yeah, really cool really, sequence. Yeah. 
insane. That's a one-off instance for side content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mm -hmm. oh, crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. It just makes me think again about how one of the weaknesses of a Dawn Trail, at least, is the single-player instances. Mm -hmm. When you had things yeah. as cool as that in the past. Yeah. Um, that that mean that doesn't mean we'll never we can never go there because we've like I said we've only seen the citadel from a distance so they it might be something they can bring back somehow like as a broken I just something. don't think that'll ever be MSQ. No, I think they've not. trapped it inside trapped. content by by putting it in a field instance. Yeah, Ugh. I mean we say that, but Crystal Tower did become MSQ. That's true. That is, and that, I mean, I, that, Crystal Tower is much easier to do yeah, than the, the boss in Southern Front and Zadnor. No, but you couldn't really say there was too much involvement in MSQ until Shadowbringers. Like, they definitely pulled that in to make it. So I think yeah. if they want to, it's definitely possible and not out of the out of their range to do They'd so. They have to find a way of fast tracking through. They could People simplify the process. Furious. Maybe you just do, they like, some quests or something. I think... Mm -hmm. Because I think people would be very angry if they had to do what is essentially the relic zone of an expansion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, people, people hate already fucking cry about brand. It. Oh yeah. Also, you <laughs> well, have yeah, to do, you have to do Evilise first as well. That's well. Okay. Yeah, well, you true. should do Evilise. It's good. Fuck that's you. True. That's. I agree. <laughs> yeah. I. Yeah. But because my opinion was, I could see it not being. I could see them bringing it into the MSQ if it was just the Evilise raids. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that they put field zones in it. That makes it much harder for me to believe that they'd make it MSQ. That's yeah. why I think Evilise might become required because we're I think getting Dalmasca. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with you. I think a zone in Ilsabad would include Dalmasca. I think it would be based mm. around Corvos and then like the the sort of southeast of Ilsabad and the south, mm -hmm. the, the north. Yeah. Wherever, wherever the hell it is on Othard. Connecting to Ilsabad. Yeah, I mean, it's all. It would have the jungle, yeah, Golmore or whatever it was Gold, called. Gold, it would have no. um, Bosnia. Yeah. It think, would have. Uh... You think they'd add Golmore? Because, I mean, yeah. Well, Gold, yeah, Gold I wanted it. to go there since it was revealed on that map. We never see that map again. It'll be called something else, though, because the instance in the monastery. Uh, it's yeah, I was going to say, Orborn Monastery starts. The sec first section is called uh, Golmore jungle. jungle. Yeah. You could probably just call they it. They could call Gold it the Gold something. Like, yeah, the Goldmore uh, something. Something Goldmore. Something yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, Rabinaster is in ruins, but we don't know. Uh, Rabbi uh, is in ruins. There's so much interesting stuff there's that's a lot happening of... when Garlemald fell around there that we just a lot of lore that was never picked up and that can't is just yeah. waiting Rabin... to be picked up. So Rabinaster is a massive city, by the way. It is. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, for that to be just totally abandoned. That's all now. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's the capital of the kingdom, so it would be crazy. Big. Yeah. There's um, and then also, of course, Noah Gabranth. Oh, oh yeah. Um, that's. I mean, I know people technically say it's been resolved, but bullshit. Bullshit. It's Lies. not resolved. Mm, it's not resolved. It is. I I I think they're just saying that until they want to use it his again. His death for is mysterious for a reason. I think. I think. Like, it, not even a cutscene. No. <laughs> Come on. No. I think. I think it, they do this on purpose. They've said it before. They leave things like, you know, around so that they can pick it up uh, later. Those and, fucking beeps from the Crystal Tower were not. No. Some, exactly. Uh, <laughs> they, that was just, just like, a funny little beeping. time machine thing. <laughs> yeah. They have enough there for an expansion though, because they have they have Dalmasca and uh, Valnain as mm -hmm. the two possible cities. Mm -hmm. um, and remember, they have the models and for Bonga and, and, and they have models for Bonga Seeks. and the Sikhs. Well, Nexia so. is part of. Othard, not Ilsabad. It's true, but it would be, you know, within the region. We never I, really de delve into Nagshir and Yanshir. I don't know if go... they could... Well, maybe. It depends how much, because a lot of Othard can be included in this. Dalmasca, Valnain, the, the jungle, the... Uh, oh, we're very Dalmasca heavy, I feel like. Yeah, but Gold that map or... that Fran showed was yeah. very... I feel like they wouldn't show something like that. Why would they show such a... Why would they show that? I know. There is so much would... about the Evil East story that it's like, oh, this is definitely going to be expanded upon. Never it's was. So, yeah. So, I... Well, it's more they... than they've done for, like, so much else. Yeah. Whereas... No 
full model with armor and mm. everything. And yeah. that that's crazy. <laughs> Why would they do so much to throw it away? It'll have to come. It'll, It'll come. Yeah. Remember, we still don't know where Lady Ash is. We still yeah. don't know where she is. We thought she was Spain, potentially. But she yeah. Not, so. Which, where is she? I thought that. <laughs> she, no, but it was something that people throw around. Yeah, it was a uh, funny, funny theory to throw around. The um, that means she can be. I mean, they. She can be like the big, the big. Um, the McGuffin. white lady. Yeah. She could be the, <laughs> the <white> one lady. <laughs> so we'll. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well. Anyways, where are we? What are we even talking about? Oh, the, the next mug, expansion. The mock mail. Yes. Um. Yeah. I. I think. I think you might, this might be, I mean, this is just as likely to me as a uh, Mercidia. Almost more Agreed. likely, because I, I, I don't want, because unless they put like a different spin on going to Mercidia, remember, this is the last load to blow, is to go to Mercidia. Oh, they yeah. blow it I think the last now? nine points I... Mm. Or, or at least finish the three great continents first. We'll go to Garlemald and Ilsebard and Damas and blah, blah, and then towards the end, there'll be, like, some crazy rumblings from Merisidia. I think... Something big. I can there. imagine the... Stephorox's return. Maybe the reconstruction... Remember, Garlemald is dead, right? The Garlean Empire is no, dead. No, the Senate's keeping it together. Yes, but they, the they are <laughs> grasping for power, but they don't really have much, right? So, remember, yeah. again, Dalmasca is a... Or, I should say, Ivalice is a problem. Dalmasca's the city. Dalmasca's the... No, Dalmasca's the... Dalmasca's written as the city Dalmasca's on the kingdom. The, map. the kingdom of Dalmasca. Right? The royal city of Rabinasta. Is in Dalmasca. Is the former capital of, of Dalmasca. Right. Ivalice is the but, legend? Yeah, it was about the uh, Zodiac Braves. Right. So forget about Ivalice, yeah. but Dalmasca is the kingdom, right? But that there's, they were subjugated. Dalmasca and Dalmasca inferior. They put so much into this. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. crazy. They well, even had... Crazy. Dalmasca inferior had a capital called Leomond. Yeah. Which... It's Fucked. it's like the amount of shit the fucking Woolhead NPC says. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Insane. Mm, yeah. Remember, uh, like... give him H high quality bacon bread or whatever. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, God. Fuck I hide it behind all that. You have Fuck to do that, that quest guy. too to unlock the next expansion. You got to make sure to go back and do that. No, the bacon bread. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's uh, so expensive. Ivalice is like Eorzea, a vague political region. So like the realm is Ivalice. Mm. I guess you could say. Yeah. Well, well I guess well, Ivalice is the world. Dalmasca in, in the game. is the. Yeah. Evil the original Dalmasca games. is the region. Yeah, Dalmasca the is the region. Garlemald divided into two regions Dalmasca Superior and Dalmasca Inferior. Right. But Garlemald doesn't hold them anymore. And maybe no. they want revenge. I don't maybe know there'll what be they've some done. pushback. I don't know. Something's going to happen. Something. There's so much unresolved down there that I. They did so. Yeah, and they just. Flung it into a twenty-four man series and left it. This used to be a big, proud kingdom at some point. So you. It was. It's very important. Probably it's the see... It says it's the second largest land area of any country. There you behind go. Garden mold. How the fuck talks about being from there? How the <laughs> no. fuck did they? Do you remember that crazy artwork of that uh, of the attack on Rabanaster? I think it's the loading oh. screen uh, for if you disconnect from uh, the Evil East raids. It's crazy the the artwork of that airship like blasting uh, the capital. It was crazy. Um, uh, it'd be fun to Rabinaster see. Rabanaster Falls. Yes, Rab. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'll put it in the chat. That's a crazy artwork. Uh, Incredible. Yeah. Oh yeah. God, they fucking glassed that place. Yeah. yeah. They they wanted to show who was in power, and they certainly did. So, um... And then uh, they just it's... decided to crumble. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> decided to crumble. No. I have never... Oh, never really... I never believed Garnival before so easily. Well, it's amazing I what mean... you can do when a... When a... Asian and Xenos work together to destroy a kingdom from the Mystery. inside out. Yeah. Mystery. Yeah. I get no, so nostalgic looking at this artwork and seeing the fucking Agarus class shit. Yeah. Oh, they're so beautiful, that. aren't they? Yeah. It, for, it was Heavensward as is law, I think, last time you see one. Yeah. They can make something this cool in Garlemald and then the fucking Alexandrian ships are like Minecraft cubes. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They look so shit compared to these. Like, they were fine, uh, but these look so cool. Yeah, they're Why iconic. Why is there love in designing airships anymore? Mm. 
<laughs> There's got to be like, you know, a couple like platoons or something just floating around. Be like, damn, that's right? crazy. I'm staying in the airship. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, OK. Well, thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, honey boy. rider, honey, honey rider. rider. Thank yeah. you, honey rider. We need to probably jump in. Oh, fuck. Talking about the rain. Yeah, I, was, I was going to say, yeah, uh, as much fun as it is to dive into the the sand trap that is East, Yeah, we do have more content to cover. Yes, we need to talk about the uh, raids. Uh, time flies. Um, but on the spoiler warning. Spoiler oh. warning for. Spoiler warning for Arcadion. Uh, uh, the Arcadion, the new raid series, uh, yeah. is out now, and. Um, it is, it's interesting because there's, there's some mixed, again, th like with all of this expansion, seems to be polarizing a little bit. Um, really? In different that, ways. Yeah. In different ways. Yes, which we are going to discuss, Girgi. Uh, you know what we're going to talk about, right? Um Oh, you're only talking... Okay, yeah. I yeah. thought you were talking about the plot first because oh, that's no. the first thing we have listed. Oh, no, no. Okay. Just as a whole. Um, okay. Um, let's... Well, let's first look quickly, very quickly, uh, sum up the story. Um, Arcadion is an arena. Of, uh, arena. You fight. Well, uh, it's fucked up, though. But it's fucked up, yeah. In the older days, they... They pitted, um, like, fake people against each other like the, with the souls. Then they started adding in, like, feral real souls. souls fighting each other. And then they put in the feral souls to make it more mm -hmm. interesting. And, oh, it's, it's messed up. It's, it's yeah. good, though. I, did, I know it's going to be, like, a tournament arc thing, sort of, like, from... I don't know, the world tournament, like DBZ or fucking the Dark Saga tournament from Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, mm. But it's... They really committed to the bit. That is true. So I agree with that. Yeah, I like the little it, intro cutscenes they made for all of the tears. Oh, yeah, next yeah. so good. They're, it's and like, like Pokemon like, Trainer intros. Yeah. yeah, it is. And I also like that it feels... Re well, we know that there's going to be higher stakes at some point just because of the plot threads that they've left. But yeah, I yeah. like that it feels low stakes, but also we have a reason to be invested and want to participate because we yeah. want to free the souls that they have stored in the arenas. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the guy, he was so eager to get us that he said, if you win, you can free some of these souls. <laughs> but man, it's, mine. it's so tropey in a good way. Like you have like the, this is just a normal tournament. We're just, it's just a normal fight. Yeah. And at the end, Oh, here comes the mysterious <laughs> fighter. Whoa, the challenge fight. But, and yeah. then the mysterious announcer's like, mm, I'll allow it. It's yeah. like, yes. Yeah. 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 The former yeah. champion who mysteriously disappeared. Yeah. The it's overarching so president who you never see. Yeah. It's just, it's just a sleep. Like, yeah. yeah I, we, a, it, I say, if you're going to do bits like that, always just fully commit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, oh, yeah. don't go halfway. Yeah. Um... Well, it turns out that because like, they're using the things and they, the, the what are they called? Oh God, I always forget the, the name. The resonators? Res regulators. Regulators. Um, and they they channel beast souls. Uh, or yeah, they do what the royal chart did. Yeah. Um, and that boss like, at the end, we, she had like a weird name. Yeah. Surprised we don't tell anybody. Like, we just saw that guy get like really fucked up. I yeah. mean, he got a lot all at once. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I know it goes into the story a little bit, but I feel like we could have said like that. That's not going to work out for you. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think they're just not going to listen to us because uh, it's part of their culture. I, they yeah. yeah. Brainwashed. Oh, God. I hated that, that they brought that up again. It's like, oh, yeah, you don't understand our culture. It's like, <laughs> you really? don't understand. Really? We have to murder the baby souls for combat. It's the yeah. only way. It's the only way. How else are you we going to be happy now? The Queen's it's a cultural, dead. It's a I mean, cultural thing. One of the one of the best fate descriptions in Heritage Found is about a cyclops that had its wife and child murdered for the purpose of getting its feral souls. God. Yeah, fucked up. It's it's what anyone <laughs> like when Elizabeth Queen Elizabeth died, we just opened the Colosseum and just fought. <laughs> like that's just what you do for entertainment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, just you just don't understand, Mila. We just we throw hot pennies at poor people. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. just it's culture. culture. It's just culture. Yeah. Just culture. How dare you? Yeah, <laughs> just, dare you? it's just a matter of perspective. And yeah, honestly, you just don't understand. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you trust the Lelafell? 
I trust the Lalafell a little bit because it once a little more. It at the feels end. like he didn't know the tr like the full weight of the president and everything. Once he said I he's agree. like, or once he talks about being like just the announcer, essentially. I thought he was kind of more at the start of the story, but after he said, like, I, essentially the announcer, and he has all, like, the funny voice lines, like, whoa, here comes the fucking chair, or yeah. something, you know? Yeah. Uh, well, the dude, cool thing about it is that thing, yeah. it's uh, awesome that he's a dynamic announcer. He'll react. Yeah, it's reactive. Dodge, die, die, or use a limit break. Yeah. Looks I like that so... uh, challenges <laughs> falling out of the ring. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, so I didn't ever do shit like that, especially, like, that frequently in game yeah uh, it's a real real cool novelty well it's cool because it, it, it'll it, it'll sometimes feels like it's tracking like someone dies and he'll comment on that and then he'll comment when they get rest oh they're yeah, back on their yeah. feet it's like oh, it's wow it's great it's crazy it's, it's yeah at it's... first i i thought it was like just for your character mm -hmm. but because i was like it, it seemed to kind of line up with what i was doing for the most part it was like oh no it's for everyone yeah i wonder if it's all like you hear it all at the it same has, time, though. It is probably, it it's like probably triggered like the text prompts are. So I think it's the same yeah. for everyone. So, mm. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's my favorite part. It's so it's super cool. Like, yeah, it, it is. It keeps the fight feeling interesting and kind of like, it's very engaging just to have him like react to what's going on. Yeah, it makes I mean, you again, feel like you're there because if you look around you, you know that you're, you're amongst two-dimensional cards so because we were talking about only like two weeks ago when yeah. they killed the story uh, they were okay. saying like, it's like the sports games yeah yeah, like, yeah. The sports games. it's like that it is it's literally that i, it's so I will funny. say they, for that one you really gotta do some funny stuff with the camera yeah well to kind of yeah. i I agree, but there is that one cutscene at the end. That's because at first I was like, wow, these do look pretty good. I know they're 2D. There's no way they'd be able to render. I mean, we've seen their crowd scenes. You know, they can only have mm -hmm. so many. They can't have this many on screen. But there's one uh, at the end when she's walking or like, I think, no, we're walking in on stage. Oh, uh, yeah. We get a yeah, little glimpse from the side of the, the yeah. stage. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Little paper man. Oh my god. I mean, <laughs> they have no asses. This is an asses society. No. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think they've also realized that they don't have the best technology for rendering a crowd because of the fact that, like, in two of the fights, they have an excuse to not have a real crowd. Yes. Exactly, yeah. Yes. I, yeah. I like the way they handle that, but I, in a way, even though it's it looks stupid, I kind of, there's a charm to it because it uh, feels like you're, like, an old school game. And like, yeah. It feels like a weird ass, mm -hmm. like, sports game yeah. yeah i think it's always a really fun thing to see like you're hitting the boundaries of a game you know where mm -hmm. it's like it's a video game being programmed it's not a real world yeah. you know <laughs> you get to see like yeah. oh yeah that's it's like seeing like a um like a good old prop effects or whatever yeah yeah, in, yeah. Uh, yeah. Old movies you know you I see the rubber suit and you're like yeah. Oh, yeah yeah that's a guy in a suit yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just punch out it's yeah. fine yeah uh okay um so that's a, oh the story ends the big twist is that um the people the champions that win um they they go to their retirement they get sick oh. they say no, that they, they go, go into retirement but in they go reality to retirement and they're happy ever after in reality they actually die they take their well, and they, regulators well, they, yeah, off yeah they take their regulators so off people don't forget and put them. them in to die so you never yes yeah, Fuck. It is fun. Why not just euthanize them at that point? Like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah. yeah. You're that just, like, starving them or something? Yeah. They, they become um, immortalized, as they say. It's yeah. awful. What an awful place. Uh, but it's their culture, so, so I can't so we decide, yeah, Sorry. Sorry to yeah. disrespect the culture. No, yeah, no, no we're, disrespect to We're going to fight it, our way to the top and become uh, immortalized and then figure out, like, how to, you know... Because we don't use a regulator. Oh, so. do you think, like... Um, I know you're meant to go through the different weight categories, but do you think maybe like 10, 11, and 12 is maybe just breaking into the Ooh, that'd be cool. Souls facility part and stuff and fucking shit up? Proper, very possibly, yeah. Yeah. I think the last fight won't be any more of the tournament stuff, no. really. No, or no. maybe just start with like, break a tournament off. fight. Yeah. I, I do think it's interesting that they start. In terms of like weight class, it's like was it light heavy? Lightweight to heavyweight, heavy and then it goes no, it's, into like it's, it's no no it's light. It's cold light heavyweight melee. That's light heavyweight. Yeah. Oh, sorry, which no, is no. like yeah. it's super weird spot to start because that's like the penultimate from the uh, like tier and like most uh, like physical sports. So it's mm -hmm. like it, you know you're not starting like featherweight or lightweight or something yeah, like that. No. It's just light heavyweight, which is like yeah weird. Okay. 
Yeah, also, uh, I see it in chat as well. I was going to say, uh, the president. Uh, are we oh. going to fight him? Is that a... He's got, he, it could be. I think, Who do you think it is? I, I mean, I don't think we know him. Do you think? It's going to be someone no, shard, I don't think we do, sure. but... Yeah. Can we say some who? It's going to be someone's shard. Oh, oh, yeah. Mm. Like Probably, that's oh. a good one. Some people think it's oh, an think... Asian. The Asian? I think it's an Asian. Yeah. yeah. Oh. People saying okay. Pashtarot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Pashtarot. I was... think... Um... That'd be crazy if it's just... Like, what the fuck is he doing chilling here? Well... Just getting people to kill each other? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's all it is. The feedback loop is just like... Yeah. Get people to fight. Entertain. Retire and milk those guys mm -hmm. to get more. Yeah, to fight. what end? <laughs> yeah. Like, well, there's no. The evil plot is that you're just kind of killing a select group of people, probably in the dozens or something. Yeah. 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 It's probably just Palmer from Shinra from Seven. Mm. Yeah. His yeah, little suit. <laughs> um. Okay. Anyways, we have to like quickly go through the the um, the um. Yeah. The fights. The fights. Yeah. So, fight one. M one. Oh, cool. Yeah, you're, you're. one of the cool things about older fights is that they all have unique new music. There's never been a raid true. tier where every single raid That's fight has, its own, mm. has unique and new music. Mm -hmm. That is true. Uh, okay. So M1, yeah, Black Cat, Black Cat, Black Cat. She's I like her design. Like I like her human design. I mm. think it's a really I like, I like her human it. design. I don't really like the boss design. Mm. Oh, you're a coward. I absolutely would. You're a coward. <laughs> you're a coward, <laughs> my love. <laughs> uh, I, well. She bringing like these. Uh, how long until we get those eyes? The uh, eyes need to be radiant eyes. I don't mm. like. It's so cool, and I like all the neon hairs too. Mm -hmm. Solution nine. I really do hope we get some of those super bright. Uh, I don't think I'd ever use them, but I do like them being in game. Yeah. They're kind of cool. It's it's possible in game now. Although so. we're, you know, then you're going to just get like maybe limps or will look weird if everyone's got neon hair. Maybe it only yeah. works in solution 9. I mean, that's true. Because of the sort of tone of the zone. I don't yeah. Uh at least the gradient eyes thing is interesting because yeah. that's I, nothing. That's I, I like the have. eyes. Um maybe not have them be neon colored. I don't know if they're going to make a like Yeah, maybe like, a little compromise. bit more nor like realistic colors for Aeosians yeah. would be fine. I've had the I've had the idea that in order to unlock the neon hair color and other some of the um customizations that they have in Solution 9, there's like a little side quest invo involving um what's his name? Oh Jandelaine. The, 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 the yeah, Jandelaine. Yeah. Bringing him to Solution 9. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that could be cool. Mm. Uh, hey, Black Cat's really um it has a couple of cool has mechanics. The there's one where you um have to align yourself to get knocked onto a non-broken platform. Basically, Shinryu mechanic, but slightly differently done. With like yeah. um, a, 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 a like a telegraph that shows you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going. Which which a lot of you know which it, you know won't I'll be say there. It in... goes green when yeah. you've done it correctly. <laughs> but it, it's not as yeah. easy to position as you'd think, because it's based on where the uh, the. It's not thing like is. it's it's tough the first time, but once you yeah. get used to it. But what you don't do. Is you go, don't go stand at the edge of the arena and get knocked off into the nether because that's not going to happen. <laughs> Embarrassing. Come on, put on a good show. Come on, guys. But yeah, my party wiped on this the first time because I, I mean, I, this is not the one I died on, but there's only so many people I can rest yeah. and heal through, especially yeah. when it starts doing um, group wide uh, attacks. Yeah. I suffered a lot as being a tank in these, in that. You the know, party would slowly get eliminated. You, you know what? I was, yeah, that's the problem, that. Mela. You know what I was thinking about during these raids? Hmm. The healer strike. I was thinking about yeah. the healer strike again. Oh, you yeah. will it's never bad. let it die. It's going to be a, the thing until. What we do you die. mean? It was so easy <laughs> it was, uh, for healers. They is... did it. They <laughs> yeah, won. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, you did it. Your fake strike. Did something. <laughs> they did all these adjustments <laughs> just because of you. <laughs> Um, yeah, th this is very. Oh, nice. It's not. If you're a healer, you have a lot to do in yeah. these raids. You did, yeah, yeah. And they're, raid. they're keeping with the uh, pattern yeah. they said earlier of yeah, you healers can't fall asleep at the wheel anymore for sure. No, no. Yeah. no. Yeah. Something they've changed for I think most of these fights is that when people get hit mm -hmm. by things now, instead of a vulnerability up, it's a dot. So healers need to better. stay on top of those. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh. I'm not dead, but I am dying very rapidly. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Each mm -hmm. fight has like a, a sort of gimmicky mechanics as well. Mm -hmm. Like, um, 
the the hearts on the second one and the the if you get hit on the third one you get like a concussion uh, day, yeah concussion. and if you get hit you know there's like different ways of fading mechanics in this which i like yeah rather so, than just like a one of the m1 one. the gimmick is the the main gimmick is the floor breaking and the floor limiting breaking, getting... where you can <laughs> go and stuff yeah. uh and then m2 is the b uh honey bee honey bee i think At honey would absolutely would of course you would i think honey bee lovely the is the most design. complicated of the fights oh uh, yes she is she is the one with the most random floor um avoiding splashes and such it's also it's also because of the heart mechanic where you you gain stacks of the hearts so you yeah. actually have to coordinate with the with the pug group which can yeah. sometimes be difficult <laughs> Yeah. It's a cleverly designed fight in that you assume you don't want to get the hearts, but you are sometimes forced to. So it kind of pushes you to two out of three by the time she starts mm. doing the avoid stuff. Yeah. It's a well-designed fight. The The models like, were the worst <laughs> of the bunch, though, for sure. It's just the woman with it. It is just yeah. the it's, yeah. it's, I don't. I, I, that's the one thing they really, for me, fell down on is some, like, the models aren't all that. They're fine, but they're not all that. Mm -hmm. The only really downer, though, I think the other three are really good. Yeah, I think they're good, but they're not like they're super not... out there. I don't mind them. I I kind yeah. of like what they're going for. Uh, the uh, music in the second fight, it's very much people either love it or they hate it. I it's like good it. for yeah. a bit. Yeah, and I'm... then it's fucking atrocious. So I have to like if everyone starts wiping I've... and you're just there, is he? I'm not sure I mean... about it. Oh, God. That's true. When my group wiped at 0.1%, I could feel yes. the seething coming from the other people around me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's no, insane. you you love her. Shut up. She's doing the love mechanic. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, she's like a, a, a modern future or futuristic luxury. Mm -hmm. I like that she's got a southern accent as well. She's yeah, like a southern I, yeah. yeah. I didn't expect that at all. I was like, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Keep that going. Just add random southern accents now. You can do this, Square Enix. You have, like, the location set where people <laughs> talk like this. Yeah. Uh, I love yeah. the little bees in the background, too. Very. The bee audience. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Maybe my terrorist. Uh, Gergi, let me ask you, actually, because I, I wonder if you felt like this. Specifically, um, I guess M1 and M2. Uh, do you think it sounds so similar to the Pokemon Scarlet Violet and Sword and Shield yes. sim trainer battles with the crowd it's cheering. Only, oh, only yeah. M1. Uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, it sorry, sounds M1. like that. But what I thought, I did think that. I also thought it sounds like a lot like the Arms soundtrack, if you've ever heard yes, that. Yes, uh, you're right about that too. Mm. It's definitely kind of like that upbeat gym fighting yeah. thing. I don't know how else to describe like, it. <laughs> It's yeah. gym music, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nintendo gym music. A Nintendo very specific, yeah. Specific, yeah, specific yeah. Nintendo. Um, okay. Uh, M3. Uh, this was the bomb. The this bomb. was the first... Uh, uh, I love this, this guy. This guy's my favorite design. I know a lot of people don't like him, apparently, but I think because you can clearly see the bomb <laughs> and like, the way he changes, I think it's really... I think he's the best of the designs. Yeah, I... First off, yeah. I love that he does a fucking lariat. I did not yes. think I would see a lariat in a fucking Final Fantasy game <laughs> in my really? life. Uh, I, well, not, not in 14. Not, not in 14, I guess, but like a, a wrestling style lariat. Yeah. Fucking amazing. He's he's also a shit heel. He's literally like he a is. wrestling heel. He's like, hey, I'm evil in the ring now. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah um oh god i forgot what i was gonna say the oh no the, uh, the this is a bit of an annoying fight because he has that whole thing where he does the drink and he does the if you if you wipe a lot on this yeah and like he kicks i the did away, the this, uh, if yeah. you're if you're a healer and you have a bad co-healer on this fight you're gonna be here a while mm -hmm. because yeah. Yeah. i was gonna yeah. yeah i wanted to bring this up because the first time i did it i must have had a really or at least a competent or very good healer, because like I had no issue with this fight the first time. I thought it was kind of boring. Then the second time I got it in the uh, normal raid roulette, I had a really shitty healer. Whoops. And oh. the only other... Sorry, no. Whoops says he did it solo uh, with White Mage. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Out <laughs> <laughs> yes. of necessity. And, uh, yeah, here you go on. yeah, so I had a um, really bad co-healer, and the other Reza, a Red Mage, 
was also just as incompetent at surviving the mechanics, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Name them. Name and shame. (laughs) One of the few weaknesses that scholars have is just like out, like outright healing. I Mm. can shield, I can predict, but but I can't necessarily just heal up all the time. What use is a shield if everyone's at like one percent? Sage is definitely more raw healing uh, um, when it comes to shield healers. Mm. Yes. Yeah. This one, um, other than the concussion mechanic, has some cool things with the fake outs, mm. um, uh, which a lot of you know got a lot of people. And it kind of towards the end, it gets more and more hectic in terms of mechanics, um, which at least got interesting. Like I was getting bored, but then towards the end, like you know, a lot was happening. I was like, oh god. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. um. This, this, this is a decent fight. We talked about it earlier, but my god, this raid series in particular really loves left right AOEs. Like, I'm doing my right AOE, and then the left one. I'm doing yeah. my left that's, and then the right one. Yeah, <laughs> that's some of my criticism of the raid. It was, I don't think it's bad. It's just all no, of it's them? just almost yeah. all of them. <laughs> we'll yeah. finish the last one and then talk about the overalls. Last one, uh, thunder or what was? Uh. Thunder thighs? Thunder no. Thighs? Um, no. Wake, not Wicked Thunder. Something Thunder. We- Wicked Thunder? Wicked yeah. Thunder. Wicked Thunder. Wicked Thunder, yeah. Um, the Oh my God. Now this one. Breasticles on Breast display. Breast McGee. Mm. Breast wood. McGee. Wood, wood, double wood even. <laughs> Who decided on this one? I, it's so funny. I saw it and I'm like, Mela just popped into my mind in me. I could just hear Mela. <laughs> like, oh my go. God. So the first one was... <laughs> Like a, a f- like a, a a big cat woman, not really oh. that sexy, you know, mm. a bit. Mm. Then the second one was meant to be the seductress bee. Yeah. She was in a fucking like cardigan, <laughs> and then the last one is just this naked tits out Ixion hybrid. It's so strange. Yeah. Cardigans are sexy. You don't. You don't know apparently so. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes sometimes it's what you don't see that makes it more appealing. Mainly, exactly. don't be so base you, all the time. And you love her charm. That's what she's literally charming. Yeah, what, honey That's bee. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's not like no. a subject. She's, she's charming you. <laughs> no, if that music's playing all the time, I'd, I'd <laughs> that okay, well, yeah. let, let's focus on. We need to because I mean we're half yeah, an yeah, hour yeah, into yeah, the sure, show. Yeah, yeah. The um, last, so the last this one, one was cool. Gimmick. What's the gimmick here? Ooh. The floor disappears, but yes. apparently it's random. But for me, it was every single time the same size. So I thought mm. this fight was quite badly designed, but it's it, true random. random. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It also has the. It doesn't have a left, right, left, right. It has a. Front, back, front, That's back. True. And you have to, but you have to memorize the order. Yeah. yeah. You have to memorize the order, although the order didn't seem to be that difficult again, but again, maybe that was just me. I think that's also true. Yeah, right? it's, this is the only fight where it wiped. Honestly, I didn't have any issue on any of the fights. It, the this is really the only weird. fight I haven't wiped on Only so had tr- Only wiped on the, f- the third one because of the other healer. So, yeah. Oh, our group had some issues on a few of them, but, mm. but yeah, this one... This one only really, like, it, when it's on the platform and it's doing the, like, cannon thing over and over again, I guess mm. that's hard for healers, but... Yeah. Mm. Didn't actually oh, have yeah. that many mechanics. Some, no. Sometimes we need to be challenged, Mela. Yeah. Oh, as I, I people agree. in the healer strike wanted. Not everything <laughs> has to be about making it difficult for you. Sometimes Nothing healers really. don't have any mechanics to have to deal with other than just healing, and sometimes not even that. You know the uh, people I in the have heal- any mechanics to deal with. The hardcore healer strikers are gonna take our sarcasm as like <laughs> truth and be like, "Yeah, that's right. We did this for you." I'm uh, tank striking now. Oh, <laughs> I see. No tank stance until we get our <laughs> yeah, demands. Since yeah. they added guardian, healers don't even care about me. I can solo everything. Okay. It's too strong. But they will probably nerf guard eventually. The music uh, in this final fight is awesome. As oh well. yeah, I, That's I, I, true. yeah. It's really cool. Nostalgic I think, in a weird way. I don't yeah. think the music's really good. The um, it, the th- the uh, raid room theme too, like the little kind of lo-fi beat thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yes. It's not the normal solution nine thing. That's also like really good. Mm-hmm. 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 Um. Okay. So. So overall. Overall. I, I think, think it's, it's a very it's solid okay. start. Yeah. It's I, a very I, solid. Start. Remember, this is it. the first wing yeah. or the first you know tier i think there's a few things they could have like i because i obviously we would have some amazing experts yeah and it's like really good leveling dungeons there are a couple of things that slightly disappointed me i.e every single fight started with a raid wide mm-hmm. which is their like bread and butter yeah. there was lots of like previous mechanics reused like the left right left right mm-hmm. um 
but the potential for these savages is is really high. So yeah, I think until we see the savages, I don't want to, I don't want to say it, you know, too strongly. But I, 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 you know, I hope this can that gets just better each time. Like I hope it just continues to get better. Mm. Yeah, I think it, it's up there with the other good raid series that have a good start, which 100%. I would say is Eden and um, what was the last one called? Yeah, pandemonium. Yeah, I think they started off great. Exactly. Like, like I don't, I don't, I know people feel different about how it ends, but I think this is very strong. This, you get the story, you know what's going on, you know what the stakes are, and there's still like some mystery going on too. Mm. And in this one, they're definitely more into like to the kind of tropey anime kind of mm. tournament style thing almost with some yeah. like cheeky, cheeky wrestling things. Mm -hmm. Huge potential, especially mm. for the rest of the series. Really. Yes. Really big potential, mm -hmm. but just listen to Yoshi P about don't don't be afraid to push the boat out mechanically. Oh. Well, it's it's not mate. that hard. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> is it? Don't think it's not. The, the experts are harder. I would. The say. experts are harder. The experts yeah. are better. Like better uh, in terms of a mechanically difficult I, fight. Maybe even just the normal trials too. <laughs> there is Probably an true. 89 page forum thread. On the official mm -hmm. forums. And the Another headline one, reads Difficulty of Normal Content. Ah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> After all this, this is. So There's we've had. There's going to be someone for every piece of content. We've had a healer strike because content was too easy. And then mm. we get better content. <laughs> better content. Harder. It's the same thing. Harder content. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't, I mean, it is harder. It is harder content. And now we're yeah. going to wind up. There's always something to whine about, but I oh, always, yeah. it's the, it's the, it's the amount of people that agree with this post that makes me sad. There are, for this one, compared to the Hedo one, this one, there are a lot of people also. Yeah. <clears throat> there on, are, you know, there are. Realizing that it's not actually that hard and this is in optional this. content. And, yes. And, yeah. I... <laughs> I almost kind of want to fault Square Enix, like the team, for not doing this kind of push earlier. Yeah. Really. Yeah, because, I agree. Like, if this happened in 3.0, would have been over this bump already, you know? Yeah. Did they push in 3.0, and that's when they started to go backwards. Yeah. Uh, yeah that was, it's, that was just like yeah. for one fight, though, really. I don't think a lot of stuff in uh, Storm I think Stormblood could have. Could have pushed the boat out there. I think that would have been a good turning point to push things up. Which... Yeah. Yeah. But now it's like, it's okay to wipe it's in even yeah, normal exactly. content. It's okay to make mistakes and learn. It's just, you know, just pay attention a little bit. You, you don't, don't have you to don't... beat everything first try. Yeah. Right. You don't got to lock in for normal raids, too. I'm no. sorry. Dude. Like, right. the, like the expert bosses, I'm like, okay. I, especially that last one in the fucking mass, uh, the, the Halloween house shit. It was like, oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, dude. <laughs> I gotta pay lots of attention. <laughs> yeah. But here, I, I don't know. I just look at you the hearts. Can you can move right. way through more or less. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I just want to read what they say here, what the problem is. The okay. problem. Yeah. Okay, no, actually, I should read the first line here because it's. I am getting flashbacks to the healer strike. I wanted to wait to see the raid tier before I say anything. There are already posts about dungeon and trial difficulty, which is also worrying. Uh, and now normal raids should be thrown into the discussion too. And I think, sorry, and I might repeat points already said, but I think we should really make a point of this. We, the people, <laughs> not okay with this difficulty. Need uh -huh. for the devs, it's a video game. Need yeah. for the devs to hear it, so ho to hopefully make a course correction. Mm -hmm. The problem with the difficulty on normal fights, as I see it, is use and abuse of non-standard telegraphs. Are you fucking kidding me? Which one? When? I, I guess, feel as if I guess the one much... where you get like thrown off, you know, with the. Oh, are they talking about the expanded Yeah, but that gets one? Exp it's yeah. all very self-explanatory. They're non-standard, yeah, Mela. They are not <laughs> the orange, uh, I... you know, normal round ones that we're used I to. I don't oh. think there was. I don't think there was a single mechanic that I wasn't able to read on my first go through on mm. in exactly. this raid series. And you can usually get hit once, at least in this raid series. And if your healer's decent, at the least, yeah, you'll live through the one. Ones are on the, the thing <laughs> is, when you see a yeah. non-standard telegraph, 
it's okay to be hit by it first, so you can exactly. see what it no does. Exactly. No one's gonna be like, oh, now you you'll remember. You you'll yeah. remember what that yeah. telegram normally, does. Normally, when you first see it, it's not combined with anything, so you're not punished that badly right. if you get hit by it. Right. Yeah. Oh. Um, okay, next, nasty mechanic overlaps. Stuff <laughs> you would see on extreme and harder fights. Downright disgusting. Disgusting. Not one <laughs> by one, but you combine them? Every other fucking normal raid fight builds up the mechanics throughout. Yeah. And I would agree, like, Eric Thonios, now, when you go back, the chances of you actually reaching uh, the shining cells colored things with the left and right thing is rare because of the you know, damage you do, but they all have done this. Yeah. Every fight slowly builds on it. And also, sorry, stuff you would see on extreme and harder fights, nasty mechanic overlaps. Yeah, have they done on extreme? Like, is... is... Apparently... Because <laughs> I don't... Well, I, I mean... doubt it if they're finding normal I... race too difficult. Yeah, I guess. I... Extremes aren't that bad. No, <laughs> no, extremes no. are really I mean, good content. I mean, they're harder. They're they're supposed yeah. to be harder than normal content. They are they, harder. They definitely test you, but like it's, come on. If yeah. you just do them, you'll you like you can get by. You don't have to do fucking insane DPS or something. This is my yeah. favorite part. Mechanics resolving too quickly for the mental capacity they demand to process. What? Now, unless you. Like, there will be some people who, like, you know, maybe, like, disabled gamers and whatever who can't yeah. work through some mechanics. There should be accessibility yeah, options for them. But this course. is optional content that they have to set to a certain degree of difficulty. Yeah. But for, like, your average player, I don't know what that means. No. Uh, and then one, If two... you can't figure them out, then you'll learn slowly. Like, you'll learn half the mechanic, and next time you can focus yeah. on the second half, yeah. and then you'll, it... you'll get it. It's, it's a learning experience. Yeah. It's always a pattern too like if you yeah. can just kind of brute force the pattern in terms of just seeing it over and over again and you'll just know at one point you know like you don't have to know how the mechanics work even you'll just it's always yeah. in the same loop yeah and then one too many catch this mechanics mechanics that have you running around like headless chicken evading seemingly random patterns they sometimes they are random that's yeah. the difficulty yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean they, they that word seemingly doing a lot of work. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. they, they are very recognizable patterns. Most oh, of them are very random mechanics. Yeah. Okay. The trouble is, like, my my sadness with this is I remember back to I remember back to the Weeping City of Mark and how uh, joyous all of us and the majority of the player base were on that first day to just keep wiping because we were yeah. having a great time and we're like, finally. Good 24-man content. I was so happy to just keep jumping into Mark, even though yeah. I didn't need to do it anymore for the oh, week. Yeah. I just liked seeing new people experiencing the mechanics. It was and so to be honest, fun. I kind of feel that way about this raid series as well. Yeah, it's I not agree. as difficult, but I like seeing people react to like the, the fling-up mechanic. It's or fun the, seeing the hearts people... mechanic from Honeybee. When people like wipe to these but enjoy it, it's a pleasure to see, because it's like... Yeah, you get it. This is, you know, it's a little bit of a jumping difficulty, but it's fun. It's, you know, good to it's, learn. It's like, oh, more like casual players, I'll say. People who don't maybe, maybe they do extremes at most. Mm. Or maybe not even that are like, you're level 100, dog. Come on. You got to be tested a little bit and put that knowledge to use. <laughs> yeah. If I will even give it to you, if there's too many mechanics happening, stop doing DPS. 100%. Stop yeah. whatever the yes. There's no it, DPS deck. It is totally fucking fine <clears throat> to be uh -huh. like, I am overwhelmed. I will not hit my buns. No one would fault you. No, no one. one. If, if no you one? could at least hit like the fucking range attack button if you're like a melee or something, yeah. you can do that. But you know, like, no one is fine. looking at you so closely during no. what are typically chaotic mechanics to make sure. You always better be casting, motherfuckers. Mm. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> focusing on doing their own shit. And once you've learned it, you'll be able to cast and you'll get through the fights quicker. It also doesn't matter if you wipe. It doesn't matter if you die. It's a normal raid. Most people will stop doing these after seven weeks once they've got their to their weapon from it. Yeah. And moved on. The people who are like really into the hardcore content will be doing Savage in two weeks. It's cool. It's fine. Yeah. It, you know what? I'll even content. give you... I'll give you guys another out. 
if you really aren't that confident in your skills, which is, I think, also fine to say, just play a DPS and get carried. <laughs> also yeah. true. You, if you play a DPS, if if you're a down to essentially a seven man the entire fight, it is what it is, and you'll get through it. Yeah, yeah. don't I. I, Don't go in as a healer, maybe, if you're not <laughs> super confident. I, I mean, That's they, the they, one role that needs uh, to have some concentration. Whoever posted this, they put this here out in the ether, so it is fair for us to read this. This is a, an official post. And they put this in here, so this will give you a bit of a, an idea of where they are. Um, uh, you'll just understand. Let me read. Mm. The honeybee... Yes. Honey bee fight. I wanted you to read this one. <laughs> Had me wishing for the healer to not raise me. I was there, uh, in the floor, dead for the nth <laughs> time, thinking that I don't really want to be on that duty. And it's not. That's a... not the attitude. <clears throat> no. 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 I know. That's that. Sounds I... like you're barely even through the fight. Yeah. Like, yeah. I just gave up. <laughs> uh, yeah. Don't. But don't worry. Why aren't you willing to learn? It's not an issue of learning the fight. Oh, because sorry. that I can do. Well, what? Okay. How can okay. you learn it by just being dead on the floor? But we don't do this content alone, you know? I think it was the fourth time I was doing Valigarmanda when I finally managed to finish without dying myself. But that's a moot well, that's point. Okay. When half the party was dead half of the time. Even knowing the fight doesn't make it any less of a disheartening Why experience. are you making it like you have to be doing it perf perfectly, though? Like, you've clearly admitted there it took you four full runs of Valogamanda to understand the fight. You learned. You have to you die, can now and do die, it die without and dying. die and die until you, why can't you get it. Why That's... can't you transmit your Valogamanda experience to Honey Bee? Right. M mind you, this expansion has been out for less than a month yeah i'm just also telling true. you there yeah. are tons of people still just getting to the point where you are to do these fights and are yeah. also doing it for the first time so yeah. like you gotta give it that i mean the, these fights have been out for less than a week yeah. yeah you probably did this on day one i did this on day one yeah i didn't get frustrated i expected to die a yeah. lot thankfully I only died a lot on the third fight yeah. but i wasn't mad i wanted to die more i i learned to fight <laughs> i mean i was a little mad that my co-healer just yeah, was it? It's the people who <laughs> do sometimes it. that happens. Yeah, <laughs> but I got through it. Um, That's why you have two healers. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's so, a real shame that people are upset about the difficulty of this content when uh, it seems that the attitude is okay. To Let, expect. Let's also say anything. this. This was posted on the seventeenth, by the way. So oh, that is day two. Day oh. two. That's day two. So and they even, they not. say. Um, well, I'm the 17th going to, at 1 a.m. I am okay. going to take the skip option for this raid tier, something I haven't done since I started playing Stormblood. And that's the point, really. For the most part, in the past three expansions, difficulty for normal content was fair, outside of some hiccup here, hiccup here and there. Mm -hmm. They are Bro, after you two You started days. playing in Stormblood. Yeah. You dealt with fucking Larbird. Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come I don't on. know. What is happening? Omega's left and right was more confusing than. But isn't, he, <clears throat> isn't that what this person's saying that they skipped uh, Stormbloods because it was too difficult? No. They started, in Stormblood. they started playing in Stormblood. Since, yeah. They. And this they've is the not first time the since, since then they started playing. They've started Stormblood. skipping. Okay. Yeah. Unless yeah. they mean okay. Shadowbringers, because that is just SB. No. No, they would be SHB. I think we've all... No, no, agreed. not everyone's going to do that. Well, then there, are, there are some stragglers, but yeah, we, it, it either doesn't... way, there's... Yeah. I mean, I guess you started with Eden. You might have a different expectations because I don't think they were too difficult in normals. Hmm. They were definitely in that kind of swing, that kind of lull of just going through the motions. With I would say that some of the Eden fights were at least somewhat um, active. Like, we recently got Cloud of Darkness again on stream. And it made me remember like how good that floor mechanic was, that you can't stand on it too long. Yeah, there was some of them, but um, yeah, I mean, but then you get shit like fucking the the, the Ramu fight. Oh, but it, the most okay, boring so fight ever made. the reason why we're bringing up this post is that it's important that we don't let stuff like this get to Yoshi B <laughs> because yeah, hey, yeah. hey. I'm blocking this mess. Veto. Yeah. Don't yeah. listen to any of these <laughs> do not, people. Do not, I have been right. playing this game for 10 years. Yeah. I want to be somewhat challenged. And I feel like yeah. there's a lot of other people. Yeah. And people will get better. Yes. And that's exactly. fine. This is a game. 
Like, we're supposed to play a game, you know? this Now it feels like we're playing a game that's a little challenging. Some, yeah, yeah, sometimes I want to, be a, want to be challenged. I don't want to be able to just roll my face across the keyboard and yeah. pass every piece of content in exactly. this game. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't want all of the MSQ to just be a fucking cakewalk, mm. you know? It mm. is... Yeah. It's, it was so fucking refreshing going through this expansion and be like, oh, I actually have to kind of like pay a bit more attention than usual in like a dungeon or a trial. Mm -hmm. Like, it felt oh, so good, good, dude. This has been it's... such a refreshing like battle content expansion. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like, love or hate the MSQ for um, Dawn Trail. You, I think you guys got to admit, fucking the battle content the best oh. it's ever been mm -hmm. this yeah. is also another reason why people are drawing comparisons between stormblood and dawn trail because it's like because the the msq might be a little bit like contentious amongst the fan base but people typically generally agree that the battle content for both of them was pretty solid yeah mm. we're see the game's good when it's stormblood it's a fact stormblood 2 <laughs> here we go um, next two. expansion stormblood 3 <laughs> Yeah, or Dawn Trail too for your newer players. <laughs> we, you can say yeah, uh, Stormblood's content is content good. Content was good. Yeah, that was, good. that was MSQ yeah. is what is up for debate. But this is the another level. Is These not. are the best dungeons. But yeah, this is the yeah. four-man content I, uh, in this. The experts have been they're... unbelievably good, and it's it scares me going forwards because. Sometimes, like with with Stormblood specifically, like Shin Ryu was such a good fight, and then every other trial oh. expansion was so boring because they pulled back and they panicked because people got yeah exactly. Too upset. Please don't do that again. I'm so scared. Yeah, Shin Ryu was so fucking peak, man. It was like, so good. Ah, oh, mm -hmm. the, the dumb stage transition with the mesh. Oh, it was like, so good. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're missing. We need more <laughs> dumb mashing mechanics. Mm. We only got like one or two. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, there you go. That is our uh, our that's our thoughts on the uh, new eight man raid and the pointless discourse after uh, about difficulty. <laughs> yeah. um, don't change anything. Keep going. Uh, keep your mantra running, Yoshi P. Don't don't let go of it. Um, <laughs> that respect their opinions. Yeah, your don't opinions. Don't listen to them. Your yeah. opinions are valid, but should not be listened to. They're kind of wrong. Yeah. They're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, right. Well, that is it uh, for today. That's the end of the show. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll be back uh, next week, same time, same place. Remember to follow on Twitter at SpeakersXIV, twitch.tv slash SpeakersXIV, exclamation Discord in chat if you want to join our Discord server, and if you're watching on the man, links in the description. Remember to send us mog mail, SpeakersXIV.com slash mog mail, and we will see you in a very short post-show. See you there. Hope it'll be good. Bye. Bye. Bye.